Hello everyone and welcome. In today's Lightroom tutorial, I'm showing you how to create sun flare in your photos. So we'll be taking this photo here, an average bird photo, <laughs> and we're using it to create this photo. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, let's first take the photo that we're going to be editing and pull it into the develop module. Okay. Once we've done that, let's go down and turn on our uh, lens corrections. First, let's choose Profile and click on Enable Profile Corrections. If your lens is automatically pulled up, go down to where it says Make and scroll down and find your lens. In this particular case, I was using the Tamron 70-300, so I'm going to choose Tamron. Okay, great, it was found. Now let's go over here to Color and let's click on remove chromatic aberration okay let's scroll back up to the top of our image here and let's get started editing now since this photo I'm adding, to, uh, adding some sun hub, a flare effect to it I want to warm the photo up now the white balance here is pretty much close to what the white balance should be however if I want to uh, put a photo with the sun in it then it should be a little warmer so I'm going to go down and choose cloudy and that should automatically adjust our white balance to where I want it and it looks really nice and until now that adds a lot more warmth to the photo which is what you expect with sunlight okay now let's go down here and let's adjust our exposure I'm going to drop the exposure about a half a stop to a negative uh, 0 0.5 and just dial it in get it dialed in just where I want it contrast I'm gonna bump this up by a plus 19 or plus 20 is close enough now on the highlights here now normally the highlights ought to drop down to a negative 100 and bring my shadows up to a positive 100 really pull out a lot of the detail in the image however in this case I'm not going to do that I'm just going to pull up just the shadows because I don't want to bring the hi highlights down too much because it's going to really mess up the way this photo looks. Won't, I want a slightly washed look to this photo. So I'm going to leave the highlights where it is and just pull up just my shadows. Now, I'm also going to bring up my whites here to about a plus five, plus six, just a little bit. And I'm going to drop the blacks here to about a negative 33. A negative 32 is close enough okay now here on the clarity uh, anybody else watch my other tutorials know I like to bump the clarity on a lot of stuff however in this case I want to keep the image soft so I'm actually going to bump the uh, bring the clarity down but a negative 33 also it's pretty good close and let's bring the environments up just a little bit just kind of a plus five not much here just add just a little bit hint more color okay now I'm not going to touch the saturation uh, because this image already has a lot of color in it and we don't want to blow out those uh, reds and blues on the parrot here any more than they already are okay now let's go down here and let's mask out some our, uh, image here uh, what they going to watch since this uh, photo was shot at ISO 1250 is sharpening I don't want to add any more sharpening to this image because this fake sharpening also will accentuate and make uh, any other photo noise look stronger so I'm gonna mask out a lot of it and leave it at the default of 25 but I'm gonna choose uh, masking here I'm gonna bring it up quite a bit so if you run a macro PC depending on which one you can just hit the alt or option key and click on masking and pull the slider over and we can see where it's removing uh, or masking out the actual sharpening. I'm gonna pull this up by the plus 65, by plus 66. Yeah, as you can see, that it keeps it on the edges of everything and where the detail is that we want to keep. But for most of that soft, uh, out of focus area in the background, it removes quite a bit of it, and that seems to help quite a bit. Now the noise here, since it was shot at ISO 1250, I'm gonna bring it on up to about 20. 
as well as a color noise i'm gonna pull that up to about a plus 50 51 is close enough and that'll remove a lot of that uh noise out of the photo okay once we've done that we can go back up and start adding our graduated filter now technically we could put the sun flare any part of the photo we want to but we know the sun does come from the top so we won't do want to start from the top and if we look real closely at the image here, we can see a lot of the sun uh, glare is already onto the right side of the image. So if we put it onto the left side of the image, it would look odd. And so I'm going to put it on the opposing side of the image from the bird. And that should make it look more natural with already the amount of uh, lighting and stuff we have on the branches and the bird's face now. So let's first start with getting us a graduated filter here. And reset it back if you haven't already. Now the exposure on this one, I'm going to bring up just a uh, plus one, just one stop. I can get it dialed in here. Yeah, there we go. However, the contrast, I do want to make it really soft. And this really helps the lighting. I'm going to pull down to a negative 100. Okay. And the clarity and dehaze, I'm going to drop down to a negative 32, 33, somewhere close to there. And that will really soften that up quite a bit. Okay. I'm getting that in there. We go negative 33. Now let's take it from this corner. Let's go down about a 45 degree angle and pull it in. About right there. But we want to notice here that it looks really bright white. And we don't want really bright white. We want more of a yellow. So we can now go over here to our color effect and we can put in a little bit of color here. Now what I want is a hue of about 59. There we go. And the saturation about 85, 86 here. 86 close enough. As we can see that warmed up that light coming in quite a bit. Okay. And once we've done that, we can click done. And now click on our brush here. Now, what I want to do is I want to put the brush, uh, the sunlight glare, coming through these branches right here. I think that's the ideal spot because obviously it wouldn't be shining through a branch, but through between these here, it should look pretty good. Now, I am going to go ahead and pull the exposure up and use the same settings that we used a while ago. Let me have to redial in some of them, another 50 again a little bit right here and I want to click here and see it brighten it up quite a bit there and let's soften her up really good here we're gonna feather this out quite a bit doesn't look just right at first. We have to do it two or three times. Here we go. There, that looks better. And click done. As you can see, now we added that sunlight really coming through. The really key there is to kind of start, start small and kind of make your brush a little bit bigger each time so that way it gradually brightens it up as it comes through about like sunlight uh you'd expect if you're looking through you know the tree branches and stuff and that looks pretty good to me and that's simply it now we used a parrot in this case here because he was actually uh pretty cheap modeling fees only cost me a few uh bird seeds and he stood there without any issues <laughs> but you can use this in portrait photos with people and other uh, creative stuff to add your sun flares and stuff without the worry about sun flare affecting your lens without getting uh, any kind of flare effects or lens flares into your uh, photos so i hope everybody liked this tutorial if you do you know give it a thumbs up 
thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. Let you know I release more tutorials like this. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.